Hey, welcome to another episode of No Pain, No Game. That's right, this is the show where game time means pain time. I'm Jason Ujitsu. I'm Dr. Tiger. And with us, of course, special guest ref, Shane with the Pain. That's for done, you comrades. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever wanted to play Tetris on acid? Yes! Well, we have the game for you because we are playing Tetris Effect. I took two tabs. <laughs> it is the trippiest game. So, unfortunately, there's not a competitive mode because the creator didn't want us to kill his vibe. Because he got really yeah. high before making this. <laughs> if, you want, if you want proof of that, just go back and watch our Luminous playthrough. Yeah. Because yeah. that is also made by this guy. Yeah, so uh, we are going to kind of try and beat each other's score. Uh, so we're going to play a few of the different modes just to get to feel for the game. Uh, but the loser of each round is going to have to eat some very special cookies made by our very own Chef Tim. Chef Tim! Rest in peace, Tim. <laughs> he came back He's from the dead <laughs> to make us some cookies with some hot sauce uh, and they are very spicy. I helped them make them today. They're the, both the dough and the icing has a very very hot hot sauce. Um, mm. It's gonna be terrible. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to watching you guys eat them. Yeah. <laughs> so All let's right. let's go. Jason's oh, yeah. so Jason just gonna jump into the VR. I am, He's gonna try yeah. this in VR. So there's two different ways to play this. Yeah so uh, although we we kind of play tested before this. Oh yeah it is disappointing. It's not that disappointing. It's 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 kind of like it'd be it'd be pretty difficult if it was like jumping out at you and stuff like that. We're good. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna, gonna go, go back to the deep. All right. So we're gonna do three all three levels. Yeah. Um. Best. And then and uh, Doctor Tiger's gonna do three levels. Whoever has the best score. Um. <laughs> is the winner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well recapped, my friend. <laughs> Well recapped. <laughs> so can we go over that once more? Yeah, <laughs> yeah just so, take us through again, Shane. So if, if you could be any Tetramino <laughs> out there, which one would you be? Satya. Uh, this one right here, because it reminds me of my dick. That one right there reminds me of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Curvature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Curves a little to the left. And, and to the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what we in the biz called snorkel dick. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Cause it's, it's Mine like... actually reminds me more of the, the, the block there. Yeah. It's just huge and fat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Just just what the internet needs more of. A bunch of dudes talking about their dicks. <laughs> yeah. So I looked yeah, up... that's never been done before. Yeah. So I looked <laughs> up seven weird facts about Tetris. Oh. Yeah. So let's go through them here. Weird yeah. fact one. Weird fact one. Tetris was invented by a Russian. That, that's weird. Its that's name weird. was partly inspired by tennis. Partly. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a very <laughs> yeah. fact indeed. You combine the Latin word of the numeric, numeral, numeral prefix for tetra with the word tennis since that was his favorite game. Okay. For tennis. Okay. It's like, Did you know that the uh, Tetris company now is actually based in uh, Hawaii? Really? Yeah. Aloha. Yeah. <laughs> so Jason's running this. Uh, Jason's gonna like to die here in like two seconds. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I got. I was just oh, waiting for this, bro. Tetris, right. There's only three lines. And yeah, not, not Tetris, you're a failure. Oh, it wasn't a Tetris? No, no it was only three, three lines. Drop it down the side. No. I guess that's, the, that's, that's the wrong one. To drop oh my god. Side, right? Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm building the tower. All right. Did you know that it actually caused hallucinations? What? In the non-fiction graphic... What? Uh, what? 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 <laughs> what are, where did you find what these supposed... These? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, there's a non-fiction graphic novel? Well, they, what? Were, they were Tetris. They were going to oh, like the the creation story, like the origin story. I don't know. I guess so. Tetris, the games people play. Author and cartoonist Bo Box, Bar Box Brown, Box Brown, Brown. wrote that. Box Brown? <laughs> no, Box B O X. Marty. <laughs> Marty. We gotta go back, Marty. We gotta try to move, Marty. Mm, Marty. Morty, we gotta. I mean, Marty. Uh, uh, I mean, Marty. 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 Oh my God, no Marty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Why didn't you put that down the right side? I know. <laughs> I guys wrong one, damn it, Jason. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get uh, there. It's okay. We will. Um, 
People played too much, so they started seeing the falling pieces when they closed their eyes. Yeah, actually, it's I've called had... the Tetris effect. Yes, I've AKA that. the name of this game. <laughs> <laughs> name drop. So I've actually I've had that happen. So when this yeah. game, when Tetris came out on the DS, yeah, I played an absurd amount of Tetris on the DS. Please, please. Jason. Oh my God! Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to call Dr. Mario, all right? right. All right, sorry. <laughs> we played a lot of Tetris. I can't, I, can't lo- I can't watch this anymore. Yeah, I know. I just, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah, no, when I played it on the DS, I experienced the Tetris effect. Yeah. I closed my eyes, I would see falling blocks. So, yeah. Chef Tim shared a fun, interesting fact with me. Um, so, he's super into Tetris. Yeah. Um, and he got his wife, Lisa, super into Tetris, too. Yeah. And apparently, Lisa permanently fucked her thumb up because of Tetris. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yes. Play a lot of Toyo Poyo Tetris? But yes. Exactly it. Toyo Poyo Tetris is actually a really fun game. We played that on another episode. We did. We did. Please put that episode on the, uh, in, the, in the bar. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the eye, the info thing? Yep. Yeah. Oh fuck, that didn't go as well as I was hoping for. No shit, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you have, uh, like, you have, <clears throat> you have 11 more lines you have to clear. I can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he still has like four minutes. Or no, it's how much time no, it's taking. No, it's not as high as taking. Oh, this is which taking will, me Which way will go into his, his final score. Okay. We're gonna get this. We can make it if we try. Or are we saying Mondo? We know it's Mondo. No, it's a song. She's like. I don't know, I don't know either. It's but it's really weird. It's just a synth wave. Yeah. yeah. Synth wave soundtrack. It's. Uh, well, this game is like a hundred percent. You're supposed to like get high and just like. Except it's made by a Japanese dude. You know the Japanese don't really talk about getting high. Oh, they, they totally, totally get it, high. They do. Yeah, there's a, there's apparently there's some rural areas of Japan where like marijuana just grows rampant. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Just like on the side of the road in some rural Ohio. No. Oh my god. Yes. You only have two more lines. Hit the uh, the our uh, our hard one button. What? Oh. I, oh, uh, get the Tetris effect. What? No, that's uh, okay. I'm gonna. Oh fuck. You're gonna. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no. How are you doing? No 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 no. Did you intentionally buy? No, that? I didn't. <laughs> you had two lines left. What was the point of doing all those stupid? <laughs> so how many cookies is that? <laughs> Uh, well, you still have to beat my score, so <laughs> have at it. So, what am I doing? Am I continuing this then? Like, yeah, because it's gonna restart the what level. What was his score? I didn't see your score. You didn't have one. Uh, so just don't get a game over. Five hundred thousand points was my score. Uh, I don't know if it's a lot or not. I don't think that was your score. <laughs> <laughs> just don't get a game over and you'll win. No. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it's okay, buddy. I, hey, you know what, man? I am a late bloomer. <laughs> I'm gonna come into my own. Uh huh. And, uh, it's gonna be magical. Yeah, sure will, bud. Ugly duckling story right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I recently binged uh, the new Sabrina the Teenage Witch oh, yeah, series. Okay. okay, so it is based off. Uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yes. It is, but yes. it's based off the comics, the like yes. the the dark comic the dark run that they did. Yes. Okay, but like it's good, but like it's hilarious that they're like trying to like well they're making all this shit gritty, right? Like Archie yeah. and like it's Sabrina. They're, they're they're yeah they're making it very like Riverdale. Yeah. Okay. So that got me thinking like what's next, and what I landed on was gritty Casper. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's they... Casper. So didn't they kind of do that already in like the, the oh Christina 90s? Ricci yeah. Christina ones it was it was a little it was a little iffy it was still for kids yeah nineties kids so it was far more scarring. the, the sequel the sequels yeah. were more for kids actually that. the first one the first one was a little bit more like rom rom com yeah. yeah that's fair but here's what I'm thinking right gritty Casper he's a dead hottie who's like torn <laughs> between the human world and this really hot girl that moved to his house 
and his uncles who want him to like kill people to raise an undead army to eventually take over the world. I like the undead I honestly, army. I would, honestly, I, I would not be surprised if they made this. <laughs> yeah. You should copyright this. <laughs> yeah. Send this to myself in the yeah. mail yeah. right now. <laughs> TM, 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 TM. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who produces it. Probably like CW or something. Yeah. But yeah. CW at me. <laughs> I'll write you a spec script in like a week. <laughs> but yeah. Who was the? Was it? Was it Macaulay Culkin? No, it wasn't Macaulay Culkin. It was. It was oh fuck! Like it was Google. a it was a teen heartthrob. Like I want to say Jonathan yeah. Taylor Thomas. It wasn't. It was. It was, it was that. It was that. Yeah. Like that. Like uh, Devin Sawa. Devin Sawa. I knew it was like one of those like nineties oh, teen that guy heartthrobs. Been around a long time. Uh, yeah, you want to look up. Devin Sawa, 2018. Where, where are they now? Devin Sawa. This is really great for a visual medium, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Devin Sawa, Man, 2018. I love Idle Hands. Okay. But, but not because of Devin Sawa. More because of... Uh, what's so her name? My score was 7,650. Uh, right. more, yes. for, more for... Um, the Boxer name. Yeah. Am I still going uh, to... Jessica keep... Alba. Uh, do, I, do I keep going with this? Yeah, keep going. All right. we, someone has to show everyone the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. It's sure as hell not going to be me. By the way, Devin Sawa 2018 can get it. Yeah. yeah. Anton wow. Tobias. Anton Tobias. What's his name? Oh, that was in Idle Hands. Oh, okay. Sorry. Man. I'm digging the music. Yeah, it's all right. It almost kind of sounds like uh, uh, Lincoln Park. Yes. Yeah. Like it, it, it kind of like, like the end of a movie kind of theme song, and you just kind of wait for the white guy to start rapping. Did you know Devin saw was Canadian? I did not know that. Yeah. I did not realize that. Yeah, yeah. I did not. I did not. I did not. <laughs> I think more of Wayne's World. It's like, oh, I yeah. did not realize that. Russell, I did not realize <laughs> So you mean to tell me if you had a weekly spot on a uh, cable access show, you'd be able to tell uh, your customers exactly what is new in your arcades? Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin was an ice cream flavor. <laughs> He'd be friendly and dick. dick. <laughs> you know, you know that Casper That's the Friendly I Ghost? That Casper came out in 1995? Yeah, yeah. bruv. Dude, I was in like fourth grade. Yeah, I, was I loved that movie. Third Did you? Grade, yeah, I really liked that movie. Uh, yeah, you know, I had it on VHS. I was I watched it more than once. Um, I remember watching it. I don't remember loving it. Yeah, if there was one movie, I didn't really like it. Yeah, I did like it. There's one movie of the '90s I definitely loved. It's Happy Gilmore. I love Happy Gilmore. Because uh, it still holds up too. Totally. My brother and I want like. When we got out of school for summer, we would watch Happy Gilmore like every fucking weekend. Yeah, it's a good movie. Oh well, you know what? You know what? What? J.J. Abrams was uncredited as a writer for that movie. <laughs> what? For what? Happy Gilmore? No, for Casper. Casper. For Casper. Wow, interesting. Shit, J.J. Sparked his uh, little <laughs> star. His, his, his love of Star Wars. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> the, like, the Star Wars guys were like, "Get me the Casper guy." <laughs> is, is Devin Sawa still in the biz? <laughs> Unfortunately, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Christina Ricci at? Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the way you said that there, uh, Jason, yeah. you just made me think of Danny McBride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that Casper guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No what? Yeah. Danny McBride, I wouldn't be surprised. Danny McBride's starting to do more stuff. Like he was part of the, the new Halloween remake. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if he I don't think he directed it or I think maybe he wrote it. Yeah, produced it. Anyways, he was somehow involved with the new Halloween movie, so... Which I've been hearing actually was really good. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> historically they haven't had to <laughs> go to a high bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, well, you know. Damn, dude. I mean, Christina Ricci doesn't look the same anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the episode is just like she has been like twenty five years. Come on. Looking at like she's where like, are they now? Photos. She's thirty eight. Yeah. She, 
Oh, damn, you're right. That does not look like the Christina Ricci I remember. No. My memory's kind of hazy. Mm. Well, she was like, all assassin, you know, your next door goth girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> next door goth girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, and Jessica Alba was your was your next door, was the girl next door? Yeah. Just, yeah. That what was it like, Dark Angel was, I think, the first thing I saw. Oh, Dark Angel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was that like her, that was her big break, right? Like, she yeah. wasn't, yeah. she was in a few things before that, I assume, but I think that was where she kind of hit yeah. it big, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, you are... And now she's like a, a multi-millionaire for some... I was about to say she's... Because the, of uh, some, like, beauty company or something? Yeah, like she was she was doing some entrepreneurial stuff, I recall hearing. Yeah. Let's look her up. Let's look up Jessica, Jessica Alba's uh, net worth. <laughs> net worth. We <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> just go off on, like, the weirdest tangent this episode. <laughs> Three hundred fifty million dollars. All right, it's not bad. Her, her company is worth apparently one point seven billion. Damn. Damn. Yo, Jessica Alba, do you want to sponsor us? <laughs> <laughs> the hell's her company called? Is it Honest Company? Yeah, it's Honest Company. It's called. All right. Well, oh, I would okay. honestly love a sponsorship for the no, show. Worry. I know that you're probably I know aware of Honest Company because like, yeah. yeah, your kids and some of that, right? Yeah. Did not realize she was involved. I can stop buying that product right away. Oh, <laughs> oh six Jess Alba it's fucking shade on Jessica yeah. Alba. I'm just Some kidding. nice tea. I'm just being a, a d bag. Yeah, I know. He's being classic, contrarian. Classic yeah. uh, Dr. Tiger fashion. <laughs> School's for fools. Look school at me. is for fools. Yeah. Yeah. You hear that, kids? <laughs> Fuck school. <laughs> <laughs> and don't eat your vegetables. No, man, eat your vegetables. You know, I'm a vegetarian not because uh, I don't want to eat meat. I'm a vegetarian because I fucking hate vegetables. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I was wondering what where that was. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I made you go into the zone mode. I you see have, that. Now you have to make fucking start making lines, bitch. Yeah. Start, start sorting up those lines. I was going to say, I say, pull a Johnny Depp, start making lines. She thought Jessica Alba's uh, husband, his name is Cash Warren. That sounds like an old western name. Yeah. Like John Wayne would play that. Isn't Cash a short for Cassius? I don't ah, know. Ah. Maybe. Cassius Clay. Doesn't say. Let's go into about Jessica Alba's personal life. Oh, God. Jessica Alba was raised Catholic throughout her teenage years, but left the church because she felt she was being judged for her appearance. Explaining older men would hit on me, and my youth pastor would say it was because I was wearing provocative clothing when I wasn't. It just made me feel like I wasn't any in, I was in any way desirable to the opposite sex. That it wasn't my fault, and it made me ashamed of my body and being a woman. Ladies, let's, let's get real here. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Catholic Church, fuck you. If someone says that to you, you fucking tell them to eat shit and die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> So, all right, well, congratulations, Dr. Trigger. You won! Nice, what do I win? You win the win watching, watching Jason Jiu Jitsu eat. Um, I don't know, one of each. How come I don't get it? One of, what? Do you want a cookie? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet it tastes like dreams. Yeah. <laughs> it's not spicy at all. It's supposed to go down the fucking. Your mouth hole, not your throat hole. It's a spike. <laughs> so this is the struggle I have when Chef Tim makes something. Oh, because it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, but it hurts so bad. Like the the layers in this like is so good. Yeah, those are actually perfect looking cookies. Those are perfect looking sugar cookies. Yeah. I think it is a left is a little bit left to be desired, but yeah. you know whatever. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shade, bitch. <laughs> Oh, 